Rex Cuddle. Today we're going to have an ice adventure. We're taking over 70 blocks, three theater for the Scream Awards, and setting up towers and centerpiece tables and all kinds of craziness. So stay tuned, follow us, and you'll see how it works. One, two, three, four. So if you see a piece of red Morris, Santa Barbara. Peter Morris, Los Angeles from Melbourne, Australia. Eric Huffington, LA. Tommy Blatnick, Whittier, California. Wrangler. I don't mind chopping it, but can you chop metal you. like this quickly and everything? I bet we have a sawzall that'll take care Lop of it. Lop it off, man. Ice, ice, okay. Trump scenery. The ice would be safer than the lawn that way because it would be more structurally totally. solid. Totally. Do what you got to do. If, you, if we have the mojo to cut it, you got to make right. sure that safety no, comes first. Okay, we're uh, we're waiting for the lighting guys to finish up here, and we're going to build this uh, seven, eight foot tower. So uh, as soon as these uh, union guys get it together, we'll be all set. It's going to be fine. You know, sometimes you just gotta wait. See, this has to be perfectly level, or it's dangerous. Don't tell them. Practically a nightmare. This is the talented Anton, who is the uh, scenic designer. Yes, right, that's right. Of the whole set and the mastermind behind Ice and Fire. Of the I wouldn't use the word mastermind, but uh, you're responsible for some weird stuff, definitely. Anyway, I just wanted you to know who the designer of the set is. Okay? Well, all I can say is Rex came through, and uh, it's not a plug, it's for real. I mean, check it out. Here it is, the finished tower. Later, we'll see fire off the top. Call macaroni. Thanks, Rex. Thank you.